Hey guys, Nervous here, and welcome to another game. So, I'm gonna be trying something a bit different today. Um, I have played this before on my own, way back. Um, kind of did a bit of a survival. But yeah, welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival. We're gonna be giving this bit of a go trying to set up a proper survival. So there's a couple of different scenarios to do. Um, so we could go for Dawn of the Galaxy. Our main goal is to find the ship Danos CVX7 and capture it to get the ultimate power. So that would be some kind of ridiculous warship, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of different stuff to do in that. We've also got the default one. It's just kind of your standard survival where you do your own thing. Uh, Invader vs. Defender. Shadows of Starlight is, as far as I'm aware, I believe it's sort of a first person type scenario. And then, yeah default scenario. Um, yeah, the Omicron one, I'm not 100% as... I, I'm pretty sure it's just standard survival, essentially. But, <laughs> yeah. Might maybe give one to the galaxy a good go. It could have been a normal day as always. Drinking milk and eating popcorn on an empty Elia planet? Ugh. Sounds like a horrible combination. <laughs> popcorn and milk? <laughs> You're the last survivor as far as you know, but after you wake up one day, you find uninvited visitors. Try to say hello to the old-fashioned and find out what happened with the so-called EX-7 station. Okay. So, uh... Yeah, we'll call this one... Let's call it nervous. That'll be fine. Okay, so we can choose to start on different planets if we wish to. might just... You barely escaped your pod from the EX-7 station after the aliens attacked. Your goal is to collect as many resources as possible and scout the planet you landed on. But watch out, you are not the only person on May. Make your way to the EX-7 station and reclaim it by any means. Okay, so this could be a bit more of a, a challenging start, so I might even go for this one. Um, Alright, let's... Let me double check and make sure. Iron copper silicon promethium. We will not be able to find any copper or silicon on me. That would be a pain. So yeah, this is meant to be your standard start then, I guess. Because of the resources you get like access to, but you don't get access to some of the more advanced resources. Um, it would mean that we'd also have the goal of getting to another planet. So I might start it that way. So we've got a bunch of different vehicles we can build in this and build up a base and we've actually got to worry about all the survival based stuff. So food, water, um, diseases, sicknesses, all that kind of stuff. Um, there'll be radiation and all kinds of interesting stuff for us to muck around with. But, yeah. It did just get a pretty big update. The planets just got big, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> so, the other big thing is they took away all the restrictions on where you can go on the planets. Um, there used to be a restriction where there were sort of um, these green and red borders, but you couldn't go into these areas. Well, there we go, we're in. And, uh,. Yeah, there was just areas you couldn't explore. You woke up and probably see drones around your suite. Wait, what? That doesn't... Did I or didn't I? Yeah. Something happened in the last night. Not only in Elia, but everywhere around the galaxy. For now, you don't know what role you will play, but something is telling you that you can influence the story behind Dora Galaxy. Mission details. Get your stuff from your personal cargo box, fill ammo into your home ammo box via the control panel, and make sure you are ready to go. Okay. 
All right, fair enough. So we've got to blow this place up and get it ready to go. We got to close it. Oh, we got heavy armor. That's insane. Really? Okay. All right. Well, I'll take that. I mean, that's nuts. I didn't expect to start with that immediately. Ooh, hello. Um, no, what am I doing? Just hit that. There we go. Okay. Anything in there? I think that, I can't remember, I think that actually might be one block there. Hello, insulation boost. Let's see, it's nothing for us to construct, really, I guess. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure. Our... Um, yeah, this is got. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, everything about it is just better. Heat protection, cold protection, radiation protection. Food consumption rate would go up. Stamina consumption rate goes up. Fall damage multiplier goes up. Maximum speed multiplier goes down. Acceleration. Jump height and jetpack. Usage. Okay, alright, so it affects everything. But it might be worth it for the moment because I don't know if I'm going to get into a fight because it armed me. So, you know, that's usually a telling sign that crap's about to hit the fan. I should probably arm the place. It really should be priority one. Let's find that. We got an iron deposit outside and it's still full. Must have your hands free, otherwise you'll sink to the bottom. Yeah, I found that out the hard way, way back when. I was constantly just running around on the bottom of like lakes and stuff like that. And yeah. I don't know what that is. I'm not going out there yet. Alright, I can I can bugger off. I need to find Ooh. Oh cool, we've already got like a fully functioning farm. This seems like a bit too easy of a start. I might end up having to redo this as like the other planet or something like that. The the other campaign starts off a lot harder, where you kind of have nothing you have to build up from there, and I kind of I kind of liked that. Now I've got some blueprints ready to go because I was thinking one of the things that kind of don't need food yet. Um, one of the things I was kind of having problems with with From the Depths was it was so hard to get back to the campaign ever. Um, I have a control panel. I gotta find the control panel. Um, yeah, so I kind of just ended up hitting the point where I was sort of, I guess, getting a bit too burnt out with uh, what was going on. I think it's telling me to go here? Oh, it might be... wait, no. I think it was upstairs. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking in this one I'll retrofit stuff, but I don't think I'm going to build anything from scratch. I think... because I'm looking at an indicator on my map. I think this is where it's telling me to go, but it has to be a... a console. Or something. A thing of some kind. <laughs> Oh, oh. Is it up here? I don't know where this leads. Um, I don't know what you want from me. Ooh. Oh, I got an ATM up here. That's nice. Uh, small problem with still not knowing how where fill ammo. EVA boost. Um, still looking for this here. <laughs> uh, it's a control panel and it has a. It says something about P. Um, place is too decorated. <laughs> I can't tell <laughs> what I'm looking for. I definitely didn't. Okay. I'm kind of questioning why there's a toilet in there with the shower and then there's like other toilets. 
I mean, I guess we could need radiation cleansing at different times. Um, I don't know what you want from me, game. <laughs> I kind of interact with that. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's decorative. Oh, wait. Control panel. P. I'm an idiot. Oh, I forgot you can do this. Fill all. Okay, that's my bad. Alright. Homespawn. Sure. I'll set that for now. Okay. Fill your ammo box by the control panel. I did. Oh. Go outside and check your home, loot the artifact. Okay. Alright. I stuffed up, guys. It's my bad. That took me like a million years. I'm gonna guess I probably just jumped through most of that. It's weird. I'll give you that. I like how these buggers set up a sensor. Just so it would glow when I got close to it. Why did they give me these? Hey there. Good you received our message. We need your help. Please come to my orbit and clear the EX-7 station. But before coming, prepare yourself and reach a higher level. A bigger adventure is waiting for you. Oh, okay. So they put this here for me. Fair enough. Did they just give me guns? I think they just gave me guns. Alright, we got a drill. We've got a pulse laser, we've got a chainsaw. Okay, so we've got all the stuff we really need. Jeez, they just gave us... a bunch of extra stuff on top. Okay, so we've got a repair station. I don't know what that do. I don't know what that do and I don't know where that go. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure I can pick it up again. I'm pretty sure I can pick it up again. Alright, let's see what you do. Okay, so that's for repairing my tools. Okay, I probably should put that inside. Crap. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so we got some stuff there. This is a little shutter here. What's this? Okay, hello, medic station. Neat. We've got the O2 station. That's good. Let me check. I can't remember which button it is. Hmm. Huh. Uh, crap. Okay, let me double check. Helmet is you. Okay. There we go. Now we can conserve oxygen, because otherwise I believe we would have been conserving consuming the oxygen. I never even loaded my gun. Oh did I this? Alright. Some ammunition for each of these. That's good. Okay, so there will be locals. And we will have to meet them. So I'm going to try and be a bit prepared. Oh neat, we've got some cereal. Now I should stash some stuff before I go out and explore. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put away... I should probably put those into my suit, because I don't think they have a negative effect. Uh, yeah, that would. Okay, so I'll just put that stuff away for now. Uh, put away the pulse laser, put away the O2 bottles, and put away the light armor. 
Now the murder bike can be used. Which is good. And it can be reused. Which is even better. I'm going to take some fall damage if I jump from here, I'm pretty sure, so I'll just quickly hoop. Really? I'm just going to fell like a rock with the jetpack on. Okay. It's fine. We'll be right. So we got the iron deposit over there. Got a couple of trees over there. So I need to make sure that I'm making up more fuel. I believe I needed to use trees for that. Um, not just fuel, but charges for the actual chainsaw and the uh, drill. I swear I just heard a zap. Like something just got lasered. Okay. I did not load this yet, did I? I don't have any ammo for it, do I? Dead drill charges. I put my fuel for the chainsaw away. Damn it. <laughs> oh, hi. Well, that was inaccurate. Um, <laughs> okay. This might actually be worth something. Yeah. Just what I loaded this with. Uh, not ground drill, rock drill. Okay, sweet. Yep, that was drillable. Okay. So keep my eye out for stuff like that as well. It'll be useful here and there. But mainly it's the um, deposits you want to mine. I do have a mining blueprint that I can sort of summon in eventually. And so I've got a whole bunch of resources. we got a whole farm going on here and I have no idea how to farm. So that'll have to <laughs> do its own thing for now. Oh, it's stamina. I was like, what the hell? Okay, what was I? Yeah, that's right, I need to get to proof. Kinda scared the crap out of myself by like burning my stamina out. Wait, where am I going? No. I need to go outside. Go to this and grab back. Multi charge. Okay, alright. No, it's not the multi charge? What powers you, biofuel? Don't I need this to get biofuel? I thought I needed this to get biofuel. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I might be stuck. I'm gonna try and figure out. Biofuel is... I think it has to be made in the actual constructor. Yep, okay. Wait, I can't build a... Ooh, okay. Yes, I need to build one of those. So I don't have one. Um, where was that constructor? That constructor was upstairs. Up we go, up we go. Biofuel. Yes, I do need the plant fibers. Uh, for the plant fibers, I need the wood logs. And for the wood logs, I need to chop down trees. To chop down trees, I need my... <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Alright, so what I need to do is chop down a couple of trees initially, and then... Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. Where am I going? Down this way. Okay, so I'm going to have to laser it with my multi-tool. OK, 
can also harvest wood. Okay, all right. There we go. Much more gentle. Food's going down fairly quick. Uh, we can just... What? Oh, wait, I think I have to... Okay, I'll crunch down some cereal. That should be plenty of cereal. Okay. Right, the trees are over here. So yeah, just need to get enough biofuel together to be able to start powering up the chainsaw, and then we should be good. There's tons of trees over there by the looks of it. They're a pretty nice place. I wouldn't mind getting a better view. Eventually. But, uh, yeah. It drains my stamina? Does this gun? Oh, that's strange. There we go, five wood logs. Okay. So yeah, the bike is totally... Oh. I have to use the constructor first. Really? Ah, oh, I got the motorbike construction kit. I don't have the motorbike for the app. Okay. Yeah, so the motorbike you can just kind of slap down on the ground. You can hop on the bike and ride around to do your own thing. Pick it up when you're done and take off again. This is pretty cool. Slowly but surely get back into the house. Stamina's killing me, so I'm gonna have to put that lighter suit back on. I wasn't sure if we were about to get attacked though, so I kinda just wanted to chuck it on in case. Okay, so I'll have to go to the other thing to do that. But for now, we'll put the logs in and we will set up biofuel. Yeah. Okay. Now I need to go back outside and get my suit. While it... Oh god, I don't like the circular shape of that hallway thing. It looks like it's a hole for a moment and then I'm like, oh no, it's just a bubble and a dead end. <laughs> interesting... interesting shape to the building, I'll give them that. They, um... Clearly appreciated art. I just don't, so... <laughs> doesn't really bother me. Um, insulation boost drops my armor by 30. Nah. So yeah, there are positive and negative effects, but at the same time, if you can get like two boosts that counteract each other, they'll sort of boost it more than they'll negate it. This is usually fine. And you do get quite a few plant fibers out of these. I didn't want to actually build it until I took that out, I believe. Okay, regardless, we have fuel for the chainsaw. Good stuff, okay. So make sure I'll grab another one just to be safe, and then we should be able to go out and actually start harvesting up some resources finally. So yeah, alright, so this is the starter base they gave us. I'm probably going to maybe end up breaking it down. Or I could just end up leaving it here like this and sort of move on and make my own base. But uh, yeah. I forgot to use the constructor to try and make a bike. Crap. Okay, so what I'll do is um, I'll probably end it about here for this episode. Actually... You know what? Might make it a bit of, I'll make it a bit of a longer episode for the first episode. Just so we can get properly introduced. I'll probably do a bunch of editing as well though. So the murder bike construction kit can go in there. 
Okay, one sec, guys. Alright, welcome back, guys. So, uh, we've got a decent amount of biofuel here. We made up out of those five tree things. Now, for the input for the motorbike construction kit, I got, I got no idea. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> uh, five, and then use? No, use the constructor in your home to build a motorbike. But that'll build me a motorbike construction kit. What I need to do is actually make a motorbike, which... I don't know how to do that. So, uh, yeah, probably work that one out in the next one, but, uh... Probably cut it here. Might have been quite a bit of editing. I don't know how long the episode will be exactly, but hoping it'll be long enough. Um, but yeah, should be a fairly decent start. Got an idea of what's going on now. Just gotta get out there and actually start harvesting up a whole bunch of resources, refining that stuff down, and we can actually build ourselves a little hovercraft, maybe, which would be neat. That's one of the cool things we can do in this. We can work on hover vessels. We can work on small vessels, um, capital vessels, and yeah, make ourselves a whole bunch of different stuff up. And uh, yeah, so that'll pretty much be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys.